Bible says, if you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. God is not trying to hide himself from us, but he wants us to seek him. Because Bible says that, call on me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and marvelous things that you do not know. So when we begin to see God and call upon God, he will show up and then he will answer us and he will show us mighty things about your destiny, about your calling, about his will for your life. And he will give you the commandment, the things, the consecrations, the things that you need to keep that your destiny. The things that you need to do to maintain yourself in the spirit. Because when you do things in the flesh, that is what makes us compromise in our calling. The dead works are things we do in the flesh. Dead works are things that we do that pleases the flesh. And it will look, I'm, let me say it again. It is not necessarily bad things to people who are not spiritual. Okay, it doesn't look bad, but to God, you missed it. See, um, Moses, when God spoke to Moses to go and speak to the rock, Bible says that the people were, they wanted water and they were murmuring and complaining. And the, Moses went to God and he was like, God, these people, you know, they are doing this. The people of Israel, they are doing in the wilderness. They are doing this and this and this and that. And Bible says that Moses was supposed to speak to the rock. So at the first time, he was supposed to strike the rock with his rod. That was the first instruction. He did that and water came out. The second time, when they needed water, Bible says he told, he told Moses and Aaron, told them to go and speak to the rock. There was a new instruction. There was a new commandment that he must obey. But Moses went and struck the rock. You see, he struck the rock. And guess what? Water came out. There was result. The people, the people of Israel got water to drink. To them, it was perfect. To them, God had worked a miracle. To them, it looks like Moses is the man. God is using him powerfully. And God deliver me. It looks like God is using Moses powerfully. Because water just came out of the rock. Because he hit it. But God said, that is not what I told you. Do you guys get it? That is not what I, I did not tell you to go and hit the rock. I told you to go and speak. And because God is good, and because God is God, he still made water come out to feed the flock, to feed the people, to quench their thirst. But get what? guess what? Moses lost his calling. Moses was retired. Moses and Aaron, they both were gone. God said, you disobeyed me. You did not honor me in the eyes of the people. But he brought water out. So you see, the same way in Matthew chapter 7, Bible says that the people, the people said, I healed in your name. The people got healed. Their dead was raised, but you missed it. it. Says, get away from me, you are a worker of iniquity. So it is between us and God. If we are going to fulfill our godly destiny, and if we are going to walk in destiny, we must understand the commandments of God. We must understand that we are walking with God and we must be ready to fully obey God. Because the result is not a guarantee that you are in obedience. Result is not a guarantee that you are in obedience. It is only God that can tell you that whether you are in obedience or you are walking in, 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 in disobedience and everything you are doing that seemingly look good actually are all dead works. You might be in, 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 in maybe like a, you are a doctor, you are a nurse, you are um, a pastor, you are a, a preacher, you are whatever. But is that what God called you to do? You know, it, 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 is this what God, it might look good. Don't forget that it might look good. It might all even be working for you because there was result. When Moses hit the rock, there was result. But he has still lost his place. He was still in disobedience, but there was results. 
So don't let anyone or your 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 get you getting results make you think that you are in alignment. Don't let that result and how people are celebrating you and how people think you are doing a good thing. Don't let it fool you. Your only measurement is is this what God told me to do? That is your only measurement. You measure yourself by what God said, by the commandments of God. And if you haven't heard God, it is high time you stop what you are doing and begin to seek God earnestly. Because God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The Bible says he's a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. In Hebrews chapter 11, it says, For without faith it is impossible to please God. And he that cometh to God must know that he is and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So, so you seeking the Lord is not wasting your time. You seeking the Lord is actually, it is wisdom to seek God. It is wisdom for you to seek God. Bible says that, Bible says that, that um, we must seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto him. It says that don't be like the Gentiles who seek all of the things. Don't seek the things that the Gentiles are seeking. But you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. And that righteousness talks about his commandment. His judgment. His procedure. The ways of God, the righteousness there. That is what it talks about. And if we are not careful, we will do things that we will we'll be like Queen Vashti. We'll do things that we want to do. We'll do things in our own way. It is about me. It is this thing looks good. I, I, I am preaching the word of God. I am doing this. I am no. Did God tell you to preach or he told you to go back to school? Did God tell you to 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 um get that job? You see, our lives. What we must understand is that God is not just interested in what we call our Christian life. There is nothing. There is nothing like a Christian. Your your Christian life and your school life and your married life and your children life. No, and you are one. And so God is interested in you. Every aspect of you must be surrendered to God. So whatever that you are doing, God wants to, he wants to be part of it. You, you died, you are, you are a dead person. You died and God raised you. That's why we became born again. So you, 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 you were born into a new kingdom and you must begin to learn the ways of the kingdom and know that your entire life belongs to God. Jesus bought us, he bought all of us. So you don't go when you are going to look for a school or look for a job or, or look for something. You do it by yourself and then you come and pray. No. No, everything about you must be presented. That's why we have to pray always. And, and prayer is fellowship. Prayer is not going to ask only. We ask, but prayer mainly. How, how many times can we ask? Because if you ask every day, every day, don't, don't we get tired of asking? Because our Heavenly Father knows that we need these things and He will provide. That is how good our Father is. Even earthly parents know how to give good gift to their children. How much more our Heavenly Father. So it's not really about asking our Heavenly Father. There's a scripture in Ecclesiastes, I have to look for it. But the Bible says that when you go before God, don't talk too much because God, he knows everything. He's in heaven and he knows all things. And we are on earth and we don't know nothing. And so asking is not our goal. Our goal is having fellowship with God. And so it is important that we fellowship and we bring everything at his feet and say, God, I want to go to school. I want to get a new job. God, I need a new car. God, I need to know about my destiny and my callings. So we put everything at his feet and we follow his instructions because you don't want to get to heaven and realize that everything you, you worked for, everything you thought that you were toiling for, everything you gave your life to, thinking that you were pleasing God, actually when it passes through the fire, it gets burned. 